Hey guys, and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today I'm going to be doing it on Obi-Wan, Kenobi, and Snow Gear from the 2010 wave. So you may have noticed that it took me a little while to actually get this review out. The um, main reason why is because um, my stores had just a crappy, crappy inventory on their Star Wars figures. But um, this figure in particular I really wanted just because of just mainly the detail that was put into them. The lightsaber sculpt. I mean, um, sorry about my phone. Um, turn it off. So, um, here it is. First, I'm going to show you the box. So, first you have um, the special offer uh, insignia right here. Or just label. That's insignia. All that stuff. <clears throat> Includes lightsaber with an exclamation. CW48. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan wears cold weather gear to protect himself in icy conditions on Orto Plutonia. The Jedi Master is part of a team that investigate that investigates the disappearance of clone troopers stationed on snow cover world in the Pantora system. On the back it shows Commander TX-20, Firefighter Battlewood, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Magna Guard, and Snow Rex. I have all four of these, I mean I have all three, and all I need is Firefighter Battle Droid and then Commander TX-20 from the other wave. Rest of the first wave I <coughs> still can't find. So that's really a bummer. Um, the only ones I have is Commander Stone, Obi-Wan, and um, let me see. Commander Stone, Obi-Wan, I mean Commander Stone, Commander Bly, and I have a couple more, but, oh, and, and Anakin. Okay, so onto the figure. So. As you as you see right off the bat is that he has a hood, which it's a new sculpt. But I don't see why they gave Anakin this little piece of crap. Sorry, Hasbro, but the little thing is a piece of crap, kind of. It's really just a little. I don't see what the harm would have been. Ah, goggles fell off. Doing this. I mean, what's the harm that that does? What what harm does that do? Making a better figure. Uh, I don't really see. I don't know why Hasbro didn't do that. Just kind of puzzles me in a way. And then uh, on Obi Wan, what I think that they should have done also, so you could have him displayed without a hood, is have this also. Except of course in its color, because that would be weird. Blue. So, I showed you the hood already. I'm going to show you him without the hood. He has the Republic kind of insignia there. He has a newly sculpted lightsaber. Let's see if I can get that. Clone Wars lightsaber, of course. His goggles come off. And he has a great facial sculpt, a lot better than anyone that they released. Love this figure so much. Belt detail. And, um, boot detail. Now, one thing that I noticed is that the boots go higher on Obi-Wan. And also, the legs are different sculpted. So that's kind of weird. Right here, it cuts off like this on Obi Wan. In the middle. And here, it cuts off before it reaches the little flap. I kind of like that more. 
so let's see which it's kind of weird one person's leg is different it kind of makes him look deformed well, um that's really it for the figure the articulation is the same I don't really need to go over that nothing special in any way whatsoever um except for how good it actually is um and here's the display photo or whatever you call it here's the box photo the front really like that box logo a lot here's Obi-Wan with this hood down and Anakin with this hood down so that's why <coughs> I think that they should have included both for each figure and um notice I have him in like a the, his famous pose Or you could do the hippie version. Peace out.